That's a massive crit. <laughs> That's a huge crit. <laughs> Subscribe, please. All right, so we have keep it up with Star Realm. Oh, it's one of those. Uh, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at this. Okay. A new cauldron master. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, because for those who don't know, they used to be a cauldron master, but apparently they did something bad and so they were exiled uh, along with her, so that's why she was in the Zooming when originally she used to live here. and But now she's coming back and she's becoming the cauldron master again. レイサさんはこの難局を乗り越え、ラフの政治において自らの地位を確立できるのでしょうか。本日は彼女の人となりについて深掘りしましょう。Man, she looks so pretty. Ah, the thing I really want her. I'm kind of struggling because I mean, like, I'm kind of like 30, 30, 30. Well, 33 between like skipping, getting her, or getting um topaz. And it's just like, man, I don't know. Because, like, Topaz is going to be very good to for Fei Xiao and for a lot of follow-up teams, right? And Fei Xiao is very strong. But even without Topaz, my Fei Xiao is already perfectly fine to clear content. And I do have March 7th with her, and they're very strong together. It's fine, right? So it's like, well, I don't really need to get Topaz. So I could skip Topaz. For Ling Xia, it's like, well... While she's gonna be better than someone like Gallagher, and she's gonna be more universal because she's just strong overall, I do have Gallagher. So like Lingsha, I mean, I have Adventuring, I have Adventuring, I've got Hoho, and I've Gallagher. I already have Sustain, all the Sustain that I might need, but Lingsha is an upgrade, so obviously she's gonna be better. But I don't need her right now, right? And But the thing is that she has Summon. And we've seen that it's going to be... We have now a new... They seem to be going toward the direction of getting more characters with summons, right? And the thing is, like, because they're going toward the summon type, it seems, I'm like, maybe I should get Lingsha because she does summon. So I'm just like, oh, it's rough. But also, there's the aspect... Because I don't absolutely need either of them right now, I could just skip... And wait for, like, hypothetically, if I start Tingyun. And it's so hard! I don't... What if Rappa is OP and I want her too? Man, this is tough! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Chat, comments, YouTube, people! What should I do? Tell me, please! And and give me money so I can pull for all the catchers. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Whale? Whale? Well, well. Okay, anyway, you see this thing right there? That's where I put my money! If I had any! <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm sorry. That was random and very unnecessary. Moving on! Help us be fired? Give me 10, I'll give you 20. Hell yeah. That's a massive crit. <laughs> That's a huge crit. I actually, I actually like that Intellitron. She's the one that follows you during... Um, she follows Luca during the event. Um, the current event on the Star Skiff. She's really cute. No. I was a villain. Nah. Fire type character following the path of abundance. Okay, 
What's crazy is that her attack, her skill, like all of her abilities deal damage. She has basic attack, obviously deals damage. Skill deals damage. Ulti deals damage. It's insane. She she You could probably build her as a DPS. I mean it's not gonna be awesome, but it could be a meme. And don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> Her skill is all enemies. And she heals all allies. And summon Fuyan. And advance the actions forward. Yeah, I love uh, I love the, the little bunny. And cleanses. Uh the bunny cleanses. Her skill doesn't cleanse. It's the bunny that cleanses. Uh, but you can do some stuff because, like, for example, if you ulti, it advances forward by 100% your Bunoi. So, for example, you can do something like uh, Bunoi attack enemies, you cleanse one debuff from all your allies, then you ulti right away, and then your Bunoi will act again. So you can actually force cleanse two debuff from your team at once, or like in a row. It's really good. There's a lot of things you can do here. Look at that. Fu Yan deals damage to all enemies and additionally deals damage to one random enemy unit. This instant damage will prioritize enemies that have toughness higher than zero and fire weakness. So essentially, it's going to prioritize trying to break enemies that are not yet. And removes one debuff on all allies. Look at that. One debuff and healing on all allies. It's so good. Her healing is crazy. Link Chai's skill can be used to increase Fuyuan's action count. Hell yeah. Damn, so she has like an ability, the Bunoi has an ability like, uh, what's his name? Lucha. Like when, when uh, a teammate from Lucha is too low HP, he automatically heals them like right away. Her Bunoi is the same. If you're a character, if your teammate goes too low HP, the Bunny just instantly heals them and doesn't even count an action point. That's crazy. Her techniques immediately summons her Bunoi and also apply the debuff that the ulti has. It's crazy! It's like ulti debuff for free? For free? And what's crazy is that, for example, you can compare this to Gallagher, right? Gallagher's technique does apply his ultimate debuff, right? It does apply the besotted state. But the problem with Gallagher is that his technique is an attack. And in a lot of circumstances, you don't want to use Gallagher's technique over using, for example, Firefly's technique, because Firefly's technique is also an attack. So in a lot of cases, you don't end up being able to apply the besotted state on enemies through Gallagher's technique. But here, the thing is that Lin Sha's technique is not an attack, which means that Lin Sha can apply her technique, which will give her free Bunoi, free uh, Bifog state on uh, debuff on enemies, and you can still use Firefly's technique. It's crazy. That's so good. Man, she's so pretty! Muttering and selling things herself? The world is beautiful. Yet I am so irritable. <laughs> it's like... If I die of anger, who wins? Being an organic life form is so hard, true. I wish I weren't. I just whisper, I just whisper Alt and 4 to myself. It closes program. <laughs> I don't think that's better. That killed me by me, babe. Okay. Be fog on all enemies. Also dealing fire damage to them. Hell yeah. Restore HP for all allies. And advance Fuyan's action. Ninja's attack and outgoing healing. Increase base on the break effect. Yes, sir. Up to certain limit. 
also the thing that's crazy so uh it doesn't say here but we know because we've seen like the a lot of people have posted videos about her with the early access server that some like content creator gets um the befog state lasts two turns and that's obviously worse than gallagher right gallagher's bef uh besotted state is three turn but gallagher's debuff of a uh, increase break effect break damage taken is 13.2 percent i think at level 10. here it's 25 percent for two turn right so yeah it's less but it's so much more powerful and on top of it it will cause a follow-up which will means you get a cleanse it heals the entire team it's so good dude it's so good that said i will say the benoys they don't give you energy when they attack so there is that to take into consideration but I think on paper, and especially with characters that have like a lot of like burst damage, two turn is gonna be way enough, a hundred percent, for the defog defog state. Sorry. Defog defog defog. We don't have noses. Oh my god, they like cut it in. She's just sick. She can summon Fuyan during during battle. And during its action. Heals allies, dispel debuff. The break will not receive debuff for ultimate. Teammate can tackle the challenge in front of them. Move calmly and efficiently. You know what's going to be crazy? Is that with the amount of AoE damage she actually has. Because a Bunoi deals AoE damage, a skill deals AoE damage, and an ultimate deals AoE damage. Right? I think she's actually gonna be OP in Pure Fiction. I think she can actually be a DPS in Pure Fiction. If you put her and Jay together, they're going to clear. Uh, Lingsha, Jade, Himiko, and Kurudin together. Ku de Z. Kurugu! Kurudin! Uh, Herta. That she's gonna be bananas. I think she's actually gonna be OP in pure fiction. I That's a kill. Yeah, but I mean, like, do I? I mentioned like four very strong characters for pure fiction, but like, you can put two and two in the two different sides, right? And that's very good, right? You can have like Lingsha and Jaden on one side and Herta and Himiko on the other side. Because you need to have two teams, right? So like, if you if you don't like erudition character, you never pull for them. She is probably going to be a good option, especially if you need a healer. Thanks for technique. Listen, Sha, could we get to work? Okay. But the enemies are in before state. Damn, that heal is good. The Bunoi's actions in advance. A minor inconvenience. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> Man, the bunnies are so cute! But I really want to prove her. <laughs> Life is too hard! Why can't I get all the waifus? ま、そこ。カンパニーのふくり構成はとても充実しているんですよ。フリーナイツ she could be the she could be the Astral Express um, camera woman that just films the documentary and uh, archives every voyages we we go on. 
Funnel your inner adventuring? Yeah, but adventuring is very rich. He actually has money to gamble with. I don't. <laughs> he has money because he always wins? That's not true. Like, Aventurine got a small loan of a million dollars to start gambling, okay? He's not free to play. He still got the backing of Jade, which... Jade gave her a bunch of money that he can, like, use to gamble. Very different. Very, very different. Alright. Overall, that was a cool video. I think it was really cute. I actually really like the Intellitron. She's, uh, she's, she's fun. Um, Yunli is adorable too. I think it was kind of nice. It was kind of straight to the point, which I appreciate compared to like sometimes with Albert, it goes on forever and ever. Uh, and yeah, she, she's looking really good. She she has like a lot. I think she's going to be a very, very strong support uh, healer. Now that said, how necessary is she? I think if you don't have two premium healer, like if you don't have, like you'd need two premiums um, sustain, right? So like amongst... Aventurine, Huo Huo, um, uh, Fu Xuan, and like, let's say Luocha, you need two of them, right? Uh, you can kind of go by if you're playing break effect, uh, break damage teams, or like super break with, um, uh, what's his name, Gallagher, right? Uh, but if you only have Gallagher and like Natasha, clearly I think you should pull for Lingsha, but otherwise she's not necessary. Now, of course... The power of waifu always win. If you absolutely love her, go for her. But I don't think she's gonna be super needed right now. You can always wait for a rerun. That's gonna be my uh, my honest opinion, trying to be as objective as possible. I think she's gonna be very strong, but she's not gonna be very necessary right now. That said, she really has potential for the future because we did get a new uh, set, a new ornament. A planet ornament that does work specifically with summons, right? And generally speaking, when they release a new kind of ornament or uh, just relic sets, they tend to kind of foreshadow what might happen in the future, right? Um, so I think this means we are going to get more characters with summon relatively soon. And she definitely has the potential to fit properly with those kind of composition. So yeah, we'll see. I'm excited. I would say, at the very least, wait until the future live stream, right? That's the advantage with Phase 2 characters, is that the banner will still be up before... Uh, like, it will still be up when the live stream happens. So we'll get the 5... No, the 2.5 live stream um, while the banner will still be up. So you'll get to decide properly. Maybe you want to save for Rappa. Maybe you want to wait a bit longer before you're really ready and sure that you don't want her. Um, and when we get the live stream, the 2.4 live stream, the 2.5 live stream, I don't know. You know what I mean. When we get the live stream for Rappa, uh, that also means we'll be getting the drip marketing for the patch after Rappa. So we'll know like two patch in advance which character are going to come out before her banner is out. Uh, or is over, is what I meant to say. So there's definitely time. Make a proper decision with all the information that you'll be receiving in the near future. And uh, that way you should not have any regrets. So there it is. Anyway, cheers. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be pulling for her. Or if you're more on a skip or waiting for more info. I'll see you later.